All right, everybody, I'm going to give a little tutorial on this exchange. It's very similar to Binance. If you're having problems with it, it may be because you deposited uh, and didn't withdraw and test it with a couple, literally 50 cents or a dollar worth of crypto, and it might have picked up a, a US IP address. If that's the case, you may need to get a uh, VPN. If you've never gotten a VPN, like I said before, you get what you pay for. Um, but let me show you how we do this. Um, so deposit. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and throw in because people are having an issue with Theta. We're going to choose Theta. Right now I got my uh, mobile wallet set up. So we'll go ahead and it's going to tell you you need mainnet tokens uh, only. Okay, If you do not have the mainnet tokens and you have Ethereum based tokens uh, from before the uh, the switch over to mainnet you're gonna have an issue because the problem is is you can send them and I know people that have actually bought those thinking they bought theta and they did not buy theta not the current theta mainnet token but you could actually send them to the wrong address and you're gonna get it stuck so uh, I'm gonna show the QR code I'm gonna scan it with my phone let's send 50 and obviously 50 won't show up because we're gonna oh no sorry it's 50 are gonna show up because the T fuel and I'm gonna show you the speed so I haven't hit confirm and send I'm gonna hit confirm and send I'll tell you when it does confirm and you can see that I just sent some T fuel over here too to liquidate show you guys it's thinking okay it just says transaction sent so I can go ahead and close that down all right, so now I am waiting for the transaction. Now, Theta's mainnet is actually quite fast, guys. Uh, let's see here. Let's see just how fast it is. No, it's not Digibyte, but come on. What is, really? It's going to keep throwing up that error, that code, making sure that we uh, you know, have that. And obviously, this is the practice uh account that I've got set up so you can see that is the public address right remember you never want to send a private address to anyone ever your public keys um, your public keys are fine your public address I mean your private keys which looks really similar to this you never ever ever share that okay so only public address this is my data public address for this exchange All right, let's do it up again now every exchange is different guys um, as far as how many confirmations they want and not only is every exchange different wanting the confirmations but every cryptocurrency that they hold they have a different threshold. And I'll give you an example the other day I, I sold the rest of my vert coin holy cow that went down to nothing since 2017 and um, it, it wanted like something like 185 uh, confirmations and literally 24 hours later I was at like 167 so it took over 24 hours to confirm and uh, matter of fact I couldn't even sell it I had a buddy sell it because I didn't have an exchange that it was able to sell on so and I didn't want to open up another exchange so you can see how long it's taking guys this is real time that I'm doing this and you guys know how I love to edit so there we go so now we've got it in progress the 50 theta right here now this is already cleared this actually cleared a lot faster than the theta so I guess a uh, big difference that 10 minutes makes in blockchain so it's in progress so now what we come up to is we'll go ahead and click the wallet click balances now see how nothing's shown up right here it's because and now guys you see I haven't done a full KYC so you see how much withdrawals remaining all right I actually went and tested this make sure the deposits and withdrawals are working and it worked just fine uh, as a matter of fact I'll even show it to you the recent withdrawal I threw like I don't know 150 or 160 uh, T fuel on here and I withdrew 7 T fuel okay so it shows it right there um, now so let's go back to wallet balances now it shows nothing on here except for boom there's my theta token right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to markets and we are going to trade this stuff in now 
a lot of people are used to doing market orders. Those are scary because you never truly know what you're getting, especially in crypto when things are moving fast. You could really get screwed and not get a good value. I like to set my prices. Um, my technical analysis is pretty rough, to be honest with you. I, I do lean on the knowledge of a bunch of other people. Uh, but anyway, come here. You're going to type in theta. And right now we're only dealing with one uh, trading pair, which is Bitcoin. And currently, the BTC pair in US dollars is working out to $1.80. So what we're going to do, if you guys see, it looks a lot like Binance. So right now, this is the last pair that sold. This is what uh, people are willing to um, sell it for. This is what people are willing to pay for it. You can see the spread right here, okay? 04 to 21. Um, so to ensure I want to do this fast to get get this through so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just click oh sorry we're gonna click this right here because I know somebody's willing to pay it I'm gonna sell it I'm gonna sell all of it right I could choose 25 50 all that good jazz um, and then we're gonna click sell it's gonna sell it's gonna it should go immediately yep it succeeded immediately there's no open orders and now you can see I've got Bitcoin over here and I've got a fraction of theta over here all right so now we're going to come over to T Fuel. I'm going to show you how to do that. This is the easiest way to get to T Fuel. It shows the, uh, the Bitcoin pair. I'm going to click over here. Let's see the uh, US dollar equivalent right now in the BTC pair is uh, a little over two cents, almost two and a half cents. So, what we're going to do is just to make it fast for you guys, this is what someone's willing to pay. And I go, hey, I'm ready to sell. I'm going to sell 100% of this right here, 153. I'm going to sell it. It's going to go immediately, right? And then, so now I've got this much Bitcoin. So now let's do this. Let's go over. Let's check out what Digibyte is doing. Let's say I want to buy. What? Digibyte is up in comparison to Bitcoin? That's weird. All right. So, boy, boy. If ask me that look actually pretty exciting right there popping right up above that uh that trend line right there huh. doesn't matter I'm still buying it so I mean it doesn't matter it's great let's see if it holds that would be great if it holds that all right let's do right now let's see here so I'm gonna show you a couple things um so what people are willing to pay for it this is what someone's willing to sell that's actually a really close spread that's cool um but let me show you what it looks like just in case you guys don't know. Um, let's say I, I wanted to buy it, but I didn't want to pay this much. I wanted to pay that much. Do 100%, hit buy. Now it's 7.3, so you see the 7.3 is right here, and you see the little mark right here. It shows that's where my purchase order, that's where my limit order is at right now. And then you see it show up right here, right? This is your 24-hour order history, and you can move these around. Um, I actually like that this is sitting right below the open orders so I can keep a track of, especially if I'm going back and forth between trades really fast. Um, but this shows everything. It shows the percentage filled. So if it every once in a while this bumps up here and, and it, it triggers a little bit of a buy, it'll show what percentage of my total order is filled, right? And then obviously when it hits 100%, this will disappear. It'll go down to here. All right, so right now, let's say I'm getting impatient. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out. All right, now we're going to hit seven. Let's see, they're willing to pay set. They're willing to sell for seven, seven right now. And I said, the heck with it. I want this right now. This is going to buy me with my Bitcoin right now. It's going to buy me 3,700 Digibyte. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Hey, guess what? It went through immediately. And check it out, it's right down there. So now we're going to do something really neat. We're going to go ahead and we're going to withdraw. So we're going to pick Digibyte. I'm going to copy my Digibyte address right here. S-G-A-Y-D-O. All right. Paste, S-G-A, Y-D-O. 
we're going to click save address and we're going to put well it's seven I'm going to go for the max it is going to withdraw my transaction fee automatically I'm going to click submit now this is where it gets really interesting and fast okay So I have to. I want to have my uh, email ready. And this is how I've set it up. I'm going to click Get Code for my email. We're going to wait for that to pop up, and then I'm just going to sit here and refresh it. Okay, it's came through. Showing me a countdown clock right here. I've got 46 seconds. Like defusing a little bomb. All right. Um, now I'm on my Authenticator app. I'm going to confirm it. It's going to go Submitted. Now it is going to take some time once you see this, and I always like to, you know, it's already too late. What's done is done, right? It's in progress. Uh, but this is the, uh, the address that I just put on there. So now it says go to Withdrawal History. And you can see Digibyte is in progress. It's a withdrawal for 3726. And what's really nice is uh, this setup, just like Binance, also uh, alerts you through your email what's going on too, right? Because remember, on my security, we were talking about that earlier, um, I've got the uh, uh, email verification and I've got uh, authentication showed up. I do not have SMS on this setup. Um, oh, here we go. Let's go to withdrawal history. All right, so it shows. Oops, so it's deposit. We're gonna click withdrawal. There we go. Still. Well, uh, let's see here. I got a. Let's do this. Click over here. I already copied that address. Boom. We're gonna click the overview. And it shows no transactions yet. And this is real time, guys. I'm taking you through this tedious part. So I just want to make sure everybody understands how this works. All right. And this is that new iSuite or um, uh, Treasure Suite program. Uh, it is awesome. Obviously, you can see that I need to update it. But it's really neat because on your Ethereum wallet, you can actually, it shows your Ethereum and it shows what tokens you guys, what you hold right there. It actually holds Ethereum-based ERC-20 tokens right there on this wallet. You do not have to go to a uh, third party. It is really, really nice. It's way better than using the web version. All right, let's see here. Just speed her up. If I could just make the blockchain run faster. And really, this isn't the blockchain that's slow. Because Digibyte is lightning fast. It's just stupid. Um, but uh, it is, um, it's how long it takes the uh, exchange to process this. All right, so it's taking forever. Something actually, you know what would be interesting? I'll show you. Um, let's find. Trying to think of what else I could show you guys. I wish this was almost live. I could I could have you guys ask me questions. All right, my phone's blowing up. Everybody's getting ready for this new Digibyte deal that they're getting ready to do with this new social media platform, which is gonna be awesome. Um Okay, so again, I wanna show oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's uh I wonder if I could withdraw XRP. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is very important. Well, let's do tether first. Let's pretend that we had some tether to withdraw. Um, geez, why am I blanking on Tether? There we go, geez, oh. totally blanking out. I'm nervous, man. All right, so on Tether, let's say you have Tether. This is very important when you guys are putting in your address. Um, you have to actually select the network, all right? I, I really only work with, um, this is Binance Chain, uh, Tron, um, I really omni-chain 
and then I really only work on uh, ERC20 uh, with when it comes to Tether. So when you put in that address, it better be an ERC20. And usually it will tell you if it isn't, if it's not compatible. Uh, but make sure you're doing that. And then another thing I want to show you guys is let's do another withdraw. XRP is an interesting one too with all kinds of different exchanges. So XRP. I don't even know if it's going to let me because I don't have any XRP on here. All right. So, yeah, zero XRP. But this is uh, right here. The XRP network, that's the only one I work on. Um, you would click on the XRP address. And then the XRP tag, when, let's say, uh, see, it's not going to let me show you guys but uh, because I don't have any in here. But let's say I put an XRP address in here. And then I put the amount. Let's say I put the max. I send it. And I can click no tag, right? There's a recipient's tag and the, um, I, I don't have to put a tag. If I do not click this, what happens is when I click submit, um, it's gonna say, hey, you don't have a valid tag in there. Do you wanna send anyway? And I click send anyway and it's good. You do not need a tag to send to an address. You just better make sure that that address is correct, okay? So you have two things to remember, which network you're, you're transmitting on and then um, the address to make sure it's good. And if you wanna put a tag, you can put a tag. Um, it's just another line of defense in the, uh, the network. All right. So let's see. Now we should be able to have it here. Okay. So it's showing, so oh, come on now doing it again. I always forget that still in progress, but let's check. Cause sometimes there we go. It went through. So you see right here, I got my $95 worth of Digibyte transferred into my wallet. All right, guys. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and disconnect Ooh. that close out of that and that's it guys i hope you guys got something out of this um if you are having trouble um remember uh u.s people uh if you do not have a corporate exchange set up you are going to need a uh uh kyc and if they're not allowing kyc right now um there are people that use uh vpns and that does work i do not do that um usually i i mean i use a vpn for security but my exchanges i have to set up for full-blown i mean it's worse than kyc quite frankly so i hope you guys have a great day i hope you got something out of this if you have any questions hit them in the you know in the comments below if you like the video like and subscribe thanks a lot guys bye